a newly minted American citizen joins me now. His name is Mick Ad Nick Adams. He has a strong Australian accent, and if I slip into that accent midway through the interview, you'll know why. Nick, welcome back. Good to see you. Stuart, it's always a pleasure. Obvious question. If Trump declares for 2024 before the November midterms this year, isn't he handing the Democrats something to run against? Stuart, I think no matter who ends up being the Republican candidate for president, this entire election, the Democrats will run on Donald Trump because it's the only thing they know how to speak about. It's the only thing they know how to criticise and target. So whether the man is the man or whether he is not the man, Democrats are going to be talking about Donald Trump. I don't know many Republicans. In fact, I don't know any Republicans who really want Donald Trump to run, especially running before the November elections. What do you say to that? Well, Stuart, my experience is different. I travel all across the country. I'm in a different city almost every single day. I speak to Americans in all parts of the country. And I've got to tell you, Donald Trump remains incredibly popular. Almost every poll still shows him as a runaway favourite if he does want to run to win the nomination. If you want to ask me, my plan to save, back, to, to save America is bring back Donald Trump. I think only bring back he, his policies. Yes, but only he can fix what Joe Biden has broken. I'll come right out with it. I don't think Americans want that kind of behaviour in the Oval Office again. Well, listen, Stuart, I, I, couldn't dis I, I couldn't disagree with you more. I think what's important is the country, the material things that we have here in the United States of America. Now, all of these people that caterwaul like a spinster who saw a mouse every time he says something, they need to harden up. They need to have a teaspoon of cement and they've got to harden up because the left is destroying this country. Democrats have a completely different vision for this country. There are far greater things than your own feelings. And at the end of the day, if you hate Donald Trump more than you love your country, you're the problem. Well, that sums it up nicely. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back, Nick. Interesting point of view. It's always a pleasure. OK, come back soon, OK? Look forward to it. Later.